Hey, what's going on, people, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna rank all the DMRs based on their TTK. If you didn't know, we've already done this for SMGs, assault rifles, and LMGs, and the link to those videos is down in the description. Make sure to check them out after watching this one. So just so you know, TTK stands for time to kill. It's an important indicator for any weapon in any shooting game to see how fast a weapon can finish the enemy off. And it depends on damage, fire rate, and more importantly, distance from target. So we've got seven DMRs in 2042, and we're gonna rank them from worst to best. I'll give you the setup you need to get the maximum TTK out of each one. So the video is gonna be a complete package basically. And for DMRs, my target range is anything below 100 meters. It's a common range for DMR users, and I guess it will be a fair distance for all the weapons. So here at number 7, we've got the DM7. It was no surprise for me to see this weapon becoming the slowest DMR in terms of TTK. Time to kill on this weapon is 400 milliseconds, which is quite a lot slower compared to other DMRs. For some reason, this weapon is accurate in long range. Like, I can confidently hit targets of, let's say, 200 to 300 meters on a bipod, but for close range, it's just a pain in the butt, and honestly, a lot of time people just run away from you because, well, the weapon is just not strong enough. I always like to push sniper rifles and DMRs beyond their limits, and again, for some reason, this weapon's recoil makes it easier for long range. Not a good option for medium range, if you ask me. When I was trying to get a T1 mastery on this thing, my experience wasn't so bad, because I realized how this works quite soon in the process. Don't just limit yourself to close range, this weapon sucks in that department. For the setup, I'd go for the tactical compensator for some more accuracy, then you need the LWG grip for some more accuracy again, and a bipod for those long range shots. For ammo, standard issue gives you the fastest TTK, so standard issue first, then high power, and then subsonic. For sights, it's personal preference, but my choice is a close to medium range scope like the Ghost Hybrid and the 2038 Thermal for long range and there goes the setup. At number 6 we've got the VCAR. I can't tell you how much fun I had playing this weapon. It's really underrated, you don't see people playing it, and yet it's a deadly machine with a high rate of fire. The TTK on this thing is 366.3 milliseconds, which is already way faster than DM7. A lot of people think of this weapon as a classic DMR made for medium to long range, but this one is quite the opposite. It's made for close to medium range with an exceptional fire rate for a semi-auto weapon. It also has a drum mag, which means you don't need to worry about reloading that up. Often. Anyway, if you ever decided to play this weapon, just keep in mind that it's made for close range and don't try to go against the nature of the weapon. For the setup, you gotta use the shortened barrel for more fire rate, which simply means more TTK. Then for under barrel, I'd like to use the MGL laser sight because you playing this weapon the correct way will find yourself a lot in situations where you need some more hipfire accuracy. Then for ammo, you get the best TTK possible with close combat, so close combat drum, then extend it, and then close combat should do the trick. Lastly, I would put a red dot on the weapon with the target 8T scope just for medium range. So. Here's the setup, ready to roll. At number 5, you've got the G428. This is the last DMR that will ever make its way to Battlefield 2042, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. The TTK is 355.2 milliseconds, which is just a shame for a gun this good looking, but again, it's still a pretty decent weapon. It's also pretty capable in long range, not to mention that this weapon was so strong when it was first added to the game, which for obvious reasons, it's a norm in shooting games. You add a weapon and make it OP so everyone plays with it, and then after a while, you just nerf it. It's stupid, but it is what it is. Right now, even after the nerfs, I still love this gun and I do encourage you to play it if you haven't done so already. For the setup, I'd go with the Tactical Compensator and LWG Grip, both for more accuracy, then a Bipod, which is a must given the nature of DMRs, then for ammo, the TTK on high power and subsonic rounds is exactly the same. However, because the high power rounds are just better in long range, I prefer them over the subsonic and go for high power first, then subsonic, and then standard issue extended. Lastly, Ghost Hybrid and 2038 Thermal for weapon sights, and you're ready to go. At number 4, we've got the BSVM. Truly a capable weapon. You probably know that you can also use this as an assault rifle, but for the sake of today's video and because we're analyzing the DMRs, I only measured the single fire TTK for this weapon, and that number is 325.25 milliseconds, which is a big leap from the G428. The high power rounds on this weapon are considered as menace to humanity, guys. They are just ridiculously strong, and you might not believe me, but you can absolutely be quick with them too. Two shot kills in under 75 meters is just crazy. All in all, you will be amazed how good this weapon is as a DMR, so make sure to give it a try with my setup. For that, you're gonna need the shortened barrel, then LWG grip, and a bipod for under barrel. For ammo, go for high power extended, then high power, and then high power subsonic extended. It's got a pretty long name as well. For weapon sights, I'd go with Ghost Hybrid and 2038 Thermal, just as usual, and here's the setup. 
Here at number 3 we've got the M39 EMR. This weapon, despite being a DMR, is way better in close to medium range. I don't know if it's the recoil itself or the visual recoil, but it just gets messy as soon as you try to fire in quick bursts. The TTK is 320 milliseconds, which is slightly faster than the BSVM, and it's just crazy for a vault weapon to be in the third place and outperform a lot of main game weapons. For the setup, I'd go for Warhawk Compensator. This is probably the only weapon I use this attachment on because the accuracy of the weapon is already great and the only problem here is the recoil and this helps reducing it just a little bit. Then go for the LS1 Laser Sight because as I said, this weapon shines in close to medium range and so more hipfire accuracy wouldn't hurt. Then to make it even better, get a bipod. For ammo, you only have standard issue, so go ahead and use all that. I'd go with Ghost Hybrid and M11 and that's how the setup should look like. Moving on to number two, we've got another vault weapon, the infamous SVD Dragunov. This weapon is considered an iconic weapon, not just in Battlefield and not even just in video games, but in the entire world. Reliable, accurate, and old enough to have seen many battles all around the world. The TTK is 277.5 milliseconds, which is a huge leap from the M39. This thing just hits strong. You can actually feel those 762 rounds penetrating the target, and unlike the M39, this weapon is powerful even in long range. But again, I have no idea why the recoil just feels off. It's just how it is. So for the setup, Warhawk Compensator, then Cobra Grip since you don't really need a laser sight on this thing and a bipod for some long range accurate shots. For ammo, you only have standard issues, so go ahead and use all that. And lastly, my favorite scopes are Bravo 3X and the PSO 1 M3, and there goes the setup. And lastly, at number one, we've got the SVK. This thing is meant to be the newer and more advanced version of the almighty SVD, and at least in 2042, it did pretty damn good. The TTK is 267 milliseconds, which is literally faster than some SMGs. It's ridiculous, but that's true. There's one thing about this weapon that makes it even better, and it stands out because of that. And that's thanks to DICE, because there's a glitch, and they just don't want to fix it. The fire rate on shortened barrel and the extended barrel is exactly the same, meaning that you only use the shortened barrel if you have lost your mind because for the same fire rate, the extended barrel gives you more muzzle velocity, which means less bullet drop and an easier job in long range. So with that said, come and try it out before DICE fixes the glitch. I'm just kidding, they'll never do. They're too busy removing the specialists from the next battlefield game. Anyways, for the setup, go for the extended barrel, then LWG grip for some more accuracy, then the 40mm armor piercing underbarrel grenade launcher, and then a bipod. The reason why I use the grenade launcher is that it's really strong against vehicles. It's just nice to have. For ammo, the best TTK lies in standard issue rounds, so standard issue extended, then standard issue, and then high power. For weapon sights, again, Ghost Hybrid and the 2038 Thermal should be a SIG duo, and that's going to be the setup you need. So here you have it, guys. All the DMRs in Battlefield 2042 ranked by their TTK from worst to best. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope it was helpful. Do make sure to comment down below about anything on your mind, maybe even video ideas and... I'll be there waiting for you to have a discussion. Also, I'll try to make the same video for sniper rifles and secondary weapons if possible, so stay tuned for those videos as well. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, stay cool.